Hello everyone, Namaste. My name is Supriya Rath and I have recently completed my law graduation. I'm 35 uh, and I have uh, past work experience with Infosys, Marathi and I have been working as freelancer uh, for some of the naturopathy, tourist guide, even management and photojournalism assignments. I'm really uh, grateful and thankful to COPS Association for this opportunity of state level online speech competition by giving us one of the very important and amazing topic as how a woman can become physically and mentally capable. I'm really uh, glad uh, to be active part uh, and to share some of my point of views and uh, some of the thought process with respect to this topic as this is one of the very important aspect of uh, our life because a women being 50% of the population and better half of uh, the family society uh, they if they are well nourished taken care um, well guided well trained and educated well then they can uh, give their best at large because we all know uh, we do have witnessed and we really appreciate, we glorify, we uh, keep uh, inspire, inspired or uh, we keep inspiring ourselves with some of the legendary examples, with some of the icons which are well known to us all like Indira Gandhi, Indira Nui, uh, Margaret Thatcher, Kalpana Chawla, uh, Savitri Bhai Phule, Anandi Bhai Joshi and so on. But yes, this topic is very important, not only for us women all and their families, but uh, for uh, all uh, the social uh, spheres. Uh, so uh, not only uh, women needs to be conduct and think and act accordingly, but also this uh, needs to be taken into consideration, uh, thought well, discussed well, to plan and act and conduct accordingly by administrations and governments and various organizations as well, along with families and women themselves. So why do we talk about physical and, physical and well-being? I think both these things and capabilities uh, are interconnected. If we are taken care well for physical well-being and capability, then we uh, 